Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Good yeah. fight. Start off with. All about fights. We can mm. have one now for you. Yeah. <laughs> we just had a big fight, and that's why Bruce isn't here. Yeah, that's mm. right. He's knocked out, tied up in the closet. Nine out of ten <laughs> fights involve Bruce. <laughs> that is true. That's right, and that's juicy. And the yeah. other one percent was me and you, Scott. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, there was one really good fight, and Kevin, you're, Kevin is the one who remembers this. But do you remember the one where uh, uh, Scott's boot wound up in the filing cabinet in our offices? Oh yes, and that was that was so like that was forever. What? And also the uh, one where he went really... through the apple. And, and it hit the, the apple, fan, and it turned into applesauce, and it came back, and went on back your, on your face. And also the one where he uh, put broke. his foot through a chair, and then he got stuck in the chair, and then Rene, our AD, came over and tried to help him out. He said, no, you don't! No, you don't! <laughs> oh, the best one, though, was no. when we had a new producer named Joe Bodelai, and at his very first read-through, Scott read something like a 47-minute scene that didn't get <laughs> one laugh. And he wasn't in a good place for it. And he started to flip out, and he really flipped out. And Joe Bodelai got smaller and smaller and smaller because he was one like person Fred sitting next to him on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. And then I left with Bill Sims, didn't I? I don't know. Is that the don't same know, one? Probably. No, the other good fight, Mark, was when you spit on me. Remember that one? Did I spit on you? Yeah, yeah, in your apartment. Yeah, I mean, when I we were there. making Joymakers, so you there. spit on there. me. It was, I, saw that. I thought I fought with Kevin when we were doing Joymakers. No. I wouldn't let you answer the And then we because, turned into a brawl. By the way, that's pre-television. That was a fight Remember? from and then and We didn't know how to fight. You pushed oh, Kevin no over the chair. Yeah, it was my fault, though. I forget what I did, but I just know it was my fault. But he knocked you over the chair. I fell. You hit him and you spit on me. Why did I spit on you? Mm -hmm. I you couldn't because I, I said something that you couldn't argue with and you had no recourse. Did I push you in a cab once? Yeah, remember, you did. Remember, I was an extra all day in that movie, and then at midnight we were uh, we had to rehearse, and I got in the cab, and you said, "Oh, I bet you're really happy rehearsing," and I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 no, there's a better oh, one. Yeah, why? <laughs> That's why you. It's because when I'm tired, I'm crazy. Next it was question. after midnight. <laughs> no, no, wait. What about the one where I called Bruce a bluehead? Oh, that's yeah. a better question. Yeah. Yeah. No, what? And then okay. that's right. No, that's yeah. the one. How did I come to call Bruce a, a blue head? Blue head. <laughs> you were really upset. You said, "Yeah, well, you're a blue head." <laughs> it didn't go. Yeah. What about the one? <laughs> Dagger, a well, dagger it was. A blue head. Yeah. <laughs> what about the one where we were, I was on stage? No, uh, and I was, and I, we were improvising, and I called you a walloon because uh, it was about Belgium. And I was and a little I, overweight. I thought he called me a balloon. <laughs> but really, I was referring <laughs> to the people of Belgium, the walloons, the walloons. and the Flemish. Yeah, and I called I them all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fat. And yeah. then we had a fight backstage, and then we took it back onto the stage, yeah, and the we stage. made up in the scene. On stage. Yes. Yeah. And the stage was empty for the three minutes we were fighting backstage. <laughs> we were the yeah, that's right. I'm fat. I'm trying to lose the weight. I'm in front of the people. I called you a walloon, Kevin. Uh, what's that? There's Belgian. There's the Flemish and the walloons. Yeah. It's a people. A baboon. No, a walloon. <laughs>
Mrs. Herdicure, and we were on a street, and it was Toronto. Two old ladies who watched oh. CBC in Canada a lot came by, and they saw us acting. They looked at Scott. They go, "Oh, I know her. She's very good." <laughs> that's right. She's very good. She's very. So not really good. hitting on. That's not hitting. It's not hitting. Hitting. It's that's just amazing. I got a, I got a got funny thing on. when I was sick and I was playing Monique, the one with the the pyromaniac with the long blonde hair. Mm -hmm. French and, girl. And uh, it was my first day in drag, and I think it was the first day we had Judy Cooper Seeley when our wigs got incredibly good, and we really started to look lifelike, and we were skinny enough to sort of look like women. And I was sick, and I came out on the floor and sat on the set waiting to, for the taping to begin, and the crew was like. Mm. <laughs> I actually mm -hmm. look kind of hot. And then our director came over and said, Are you sure you can do this, Mark? And I said, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think my voice is going to be able to. And, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. But mostly, the crew Dave, was so surprised. Dave, you, you caused the I most homosexual no panic on the crew, I think. Yeah, well, I had, I remember there was, there was one guy, there were guys on our crew who would come up to me and ask, are you going to be that redhead tonight? Yeah. And I said, no, no, I'm not the redhead. They, then they just go, oh. Um, oh, you're going blonde, Let me call huh? my brother. I told him not to come. Have we ever mentioned Scott being gay? Not now. Not even now. No. Not even now. Not even now. Shh. No. He was kidding. Well, they wouldn't be secrets then, would they? I don't think we... I don't think... No, we don't really have any secrets, sadly. Oh, Bellini's in Toronto That's working secret. on... Uh, <laughs> That's a secret. That's a secret. No, we can't talk What he's up that. to is a secret. Yeah. And, and isn't Bellini uh, skinny? That's a secret. That's mm -hmm. a secret. Sorry. <laughs> All. <laughs> Especially Cabbage Head. Yeah. Yeah. I would say. Uh, Nina was is a woman I worked for at a temp agency. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Who else? Originally, like, from the first Nina, where she just tries Buddy to... Buddy Cole? Like, Buddy Cole's based on a guy that I knew. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I imitated him, basically. He broke my heart. So Aww. I did him as a character. Yeah. Bruce! Bruce enjoyed it the most, or did enjoyed it the most? most I think he enjoyed most. it the most, honestly. Yeah. I don't know who did it. Yes, I would say that's right. Bruce Bird. Yeah, yeah, I think really? so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because all those Tammy sketches that he did that were never filmed. Yeah. Remember them? He would just do them, and we would have like <laughs> yeah. dummy cameras. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And he knew. He, he enjoyed them. Yeah. Honestly, I. Doesn't everybody enjoy doing drag? Hmm. You probably enjoy it the most. I don't know if that's true. Because you're the only one that says, I'm not playing any women in the show. None of us ever say, yeah. I'm not playing any women in the show. Yeah. You, you've said that a few times, so you probably enjoy it the well, most. Well, I'm a kinder, gentler man when I'm a woman. That's for sure. Somebody oh. signed my cock once. <laughs> so that's when we were crazy encounter with Scott Thompson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Almost before I joined these I don't guys. want to sign it. Don't make me mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I signed his cock. Oh, oh, that's different. That's different. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. In, a, in the bathroom of a gay bar. No, she said crazy encounter. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. You said crazy. <laughs> oh, not banal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Not prosaic. Uh, we had a fan give it. Did you ever see oh, in Vancouver I had to. when we opened the Vogue in Vancouver? And that, that really crazy fan came back and gave us that bowl of. Oh, fish. eyes. Cow eyes. Cow no, eyes? not cow. Mixed, mixed eyes. It was a mixed. bowl of mixed eyes. Oh. eyes. We got a bowl of eyes. I'm watching you, it said in a really kind of interesting way. I remember, way. I remember Kevin Smith pot. was there at the time. Yeah. Something no, Vancouver gave us a bouquet uh, of pot. Doug, uh, It was Doug, Doug Copeland. Copeland. And Douglas Copeland. Weren't they both there that show? Kevin Smith eyes was at a, at a Hamilton mm -hmm. show or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. He was very disappointed to me. That guy who gave the eyes was a friend of Bruce's. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Oh. Uh, Bruce isn't here, so I'll cover for him. Monty he Python would say, for Bruce. drunk waitresses <laughs> and ladies stuck in traffic, guys picking <laughs> humbugs out of their matted hair. <laughs> That's Bruce's answer. <laughs> and Kevin? That's your key to Max Brothers. Yeah, Monty Python. Monty Python. Monty Python. Oh. G. Wilder. Yeah. Richard Pryor. Beatrice Arthur. Yeah. Woody Allen. Um, Early Bob Hope movies. Uh, SCTV. SCTV. Yeah. Monty Python. Second City. Peter Sellers. Rod Steiger. All the Chameleons. Yeah. Gary Shanley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Carol Burnett. Oh, uh, Chris uh -huh. Robinson. Oh, he was famous already. No, up here on our show in a bit part? Yes. Uh, Sarah Pauly. But she was already, she already famous. famous. She has, oh, she's she's Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell. Nev that's Campbell. Nev Campbell. Campbell. Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell. That's the one. That's the... Yeah, that's her. There's no story. Sketch. Harlan Williams. Harlan Williams. Yeah. But uh, not as famous as Nev Campbell. Was he ever in a sketch? Brent Butt. He was an extra. Oh, Canada, Brent Butt. Butt. Brent Butt for those Canadians. Yeah. Anybody else? Nev Campbell's like the biggest. Nev Campbell's the biggest. Um, that's not very even that... 
Yeah. Big. Nev? She's a huge international star. Scream! She was in Scream. I'm not dealing with the Scream. scream. <laughs> she was in Scream. Oh, millions. Mm-hmm. How many? How many head crushes did the head crusher cut? Uh, I know. could count them. Oh, you could yeah. actually count. There was a little boy in the pilot. I think the agreement from my troopmates is one too many. My I, I would say that. <laughs> Well, when I played Buddy Cole, that was my favorite. Yeah, I think that was yeah. it. For me, definitely uh, one of the Scissor Sisters. That was mm-hmm. my favorite. Yeah. I didn't do characters. Uh, I liked the, uh, when I did the No Coke Pepsi. No Coke Pepsi guy. <laughs> that was good. Mm-hmm. No Coke Pepsi. That was good. I liked Mark's uh, Samurai Chef. Yeah. That was good. Is that even know what he was? Yeah, he, he, he probably won this DVD. DVD. That's on the next DVD. Right. Uh, oh, okay. We it's like, hard to say. We like doing them all. That's it. We don't want to uh, play favorites. Yes. Uh, well. Two troops collided, yeah, and, and in the supernova, <laughs> Scott wheeled in on a pink trike. Dave and I were in a troop in Toronto. Mark and Bruce were in a troop in Calgary. Scott was in the middle. We all met in Toronto and became a troop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had a bag of wigs and dresses, and that yes, was... and we needed that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our dynamic hasn't evolved at all. at all. We're having the same fights we had. It, 52 yeah, years ago. we're in a state of just stasis? retarded stasis. Yeah. <laughs> I disagree, right, Bruce? Oh, yeah, it is the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Like, for instance, the old days, if Bruce didn't agree with something, he'd flounce out and not participate. But nowadays... Yeah, but nowadays... Well, now he's, <laughs> he's matured to a point where, where he can accept differences. He has his driver of making him flounce them off. <laughs>